Hey folks, how are we doing? Here we are back again in Trevo's Restaurant, High Street in Killarney. We're going to do another simple dish for you today. It's on the Facebook page as well for Trevo's. And it is a beautiful uh, piece of Irish salmon done in tin foil. You're not going to believe how easy this is going to be. So come on down here to eat toes. We're going to show you exactly the ingredients that we're going to need. So just a little bit of salt, a little bit of whole uh, grain mustard, some spring onions or scallions, some tomatoes, a little bit of sweet chili sauce, a little bit of white wine. Then for the veg that we're going to do, just a little selection of whatever we have. We've got a bit of leek, carrot, courgette, red pepper, again tomato onion, and uh, the course, the star of the show is going to be a beautiful piece of uh, Irish salmon. Okay, up here to meet so Thomas. Now, so what we're going to need for this, just a little piece of tin foil. And I'm going to show you exactly how easy this is. For dinner party, it's such an amazing dish to do because we can have this all done about half an hour to an hour in advance. It's going to be so easy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of julienne of vegetable. Now, julienne of vegetable is a very thin piece of vegetable. So when you're getting your carrot ready, okay, just take off, say, a little bit of the bottom here to keep it nice and solid, okay? So that way it can't move for you. So you want to go as thin as you can, okay? And if you can get it like a matchstick, absolutely perfect. If you can get it even thinner, all the better, okay? And we're just going to chop it up nice and thin again, okay? So it's going to go into our dish. Now... I have a few bits and pieces done already just to save a little bit of time. A little bit of courgette for colour. And down and meet. Now again with the courgette, you can go slightly thicker on that just because of it. it won't take as long to cook. So again, a bit of matchstick size again. Nice and simple. You can see that there. Very, very simple. Okay. We're gonna do the same with the red pepper. When you're cooking with peppers, make sure you don't have any of the white pit from the inside, okay? So again, nice and thin. Okay, we can see all that. Likewise with our mushrooms. Again, just nice and thin. Okay, if you want to go a little bit slower, just take your time with it, just nice and slow. We got it like that. Okay, so this is all going to go into our dish. We have a few bits of pieces there. Oh, mix it all up. See all that? Look at all those colors, the flavor. You just know this is going to be good already. Okay, now, so to start our show. Sorry, there we go. That. So what you want is just a little bit of selection of the veg here, just down on the bottom, like so. Okay. A little bit. And on top of that, we're going to place our beautiful piece of salmon. Now, follow me on this one, at home, Okay. So just lift up the sides. Okay. Like so. And tuck it in at one end. And tuck it in at the other end. So that nothing seeps out. Okay, now, just going to put in some of our flavors. This, when we're putting up tomatoes, putting in a bit of white wine gives us a little bit of steam and helps it cook it that much better. Makes it nice and uh, a very good texture. So what we're doing, again, don't worry about it. You're talking maybe three, four spoons of white wine. Okay. Gonna get a little bit of sweet chili sauce. Again, you're talking, look, if you like it, Put in two. I'm a big fan of sweet chili. I don't. Not a big fan of chili, but I'm a big fan of the sweet chili. Okay. And just a little piece of lime juice. Now, up to me for a second, Thomas. If you're doing this in advance, do everything up until now. Leave it like that. And put your lime juice in at the very end, just so you're about to put it into the oven, because the lime juice will actually start to kind of cook the salmon straight away. So leave that till the very, very end. So just a little squeeze of lime juice. Okay. Go. And of course, last but not least, a little bit of rock salt. And just a little twist of the peppermint. If you want to put in bean, uh, bean shoots or bean sprouts into that, or a little bit of uh, uh, bamboo shoots, no problems. Anything at all, just put in the extra flavor. Now, so we close it up, and basically, what we're making here is a very simple parcel, nice and tight. So all the steam and everything keeps inside. Now, up to me for a second, Thomas. Depending on your oven and this wine, practice on yourself. It can take anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. So I'd say 10 to 11 minutes is, is about perfect. Uh, but remember, if you can eat up to me, Thomas, if you can eat it raw, you can eat it almost cooked. So don't worry if it's a little bit pink. In fact, a lot of people actually ask for a little bit of pink inside the center. Okay, so we're going to put this into the oven. I've got one already on the go there now. So I'm just going to drop this into the oven. Leave this here for two seconds. 
just to rest while I assemble the rest of the dish. Now, so what I have here, don't me if you're presenting it, if you want to just put that straight onto the plate and bring it to the dinner party when people open up to get the waff of steam and smell and everything, but just so you can see what it's like, I'm just going to put a little bit of a, a garnish on the side. Okay, so what we have here is a little bit of olive oil, just very good quality extra virgin olive oil. Some scallions, this is just the easiest salsa now you're ever going to see. Okay, the skin of tomato. I know they're going to turn around and say to you, boil it for a second, take it out. This is a very, very easy way of skinning a tomato. Good sharp knife like always. Just remove your pith like that. Okay, and then we're going to go right onto the skin and keep the knife nice and level flat against the board. Okay, we don't need to boil anything, we don't need to do anything. Skin's off. How easy was that, okay? And just dice that up, okay? Little concasse of tomato as they call it. Okay. So, now, what we do? Again, just put a little bit of mix of... Again, this is just for colour. Okay. A little bit of whole grain mustard. I'm going to mix all this in there nicely. A sprinkle of salt and a little grind of pepper. Whisk all this up. You getting a good picture of that there in the tones? Yeah. Thought you weren't allowed to talk in these videos. Up to me for one second tones. I hope you all tried deep fried egg we did the other day. It was on telly about three or four days ago. You can try it Trevo style or you can try it the way the guy did it on TV. You can either enjoy a lovely soft egg the way we do it or you can enjoy a golf ball the way he did it. Five minutes in a fat fryer, trust me, way too long. I know there's a few of you guys there know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this is going to be nice and simple. So basically, we're just going to spoon this around the plate. You know, if you're doing this at home, maybe have a little bit of mashed potato or a nice salad to go with it or something like this. But just for garnish sakes, I'm going to show you here. Okay. Now, okay, I have good fingers. That's going to be very hot, so just be a little bit careful for yourselves. And just to show you, see the steam coming out and all the juices. You got a nice picture of that there in our towns? Yes, yeah, don't talk. <laughs> now, just again for garnish, you take out a beautiful piece of salmon. This is cooked to absolute perfection. How hard is this, lad? A little bit of veg left over, so just put that on the top for a little bit of garnish. Don't let all those beautiful juices go to stray. So you got your white wine, your chili. Just pour it over nice and neat like that. Presentation is key to everything. Let's make sure your plate is nice and cleaned. I've learned from last week not to leave my herbs underneath the lights. A bowl of ice, a little bit, a few chives, and a little bit of flat leaf parsley. And there we have a beautiful piece of Irish salmon, steamed with a little bit of white wine, sweet chili sauce, and a very simple salsa. Trust me, try it. I guarantee you'll love it. Enjoy it over the weekend. Let me know how you get on.